Hello guys and welcome to the 2020 perfect gaming performance for Windows. Today we will optimize and tweak Windows to perfection throughout four main components. We have mouse, we have latency, we have GPU and we have CPU. All these components will help us achieve zero input lag and higher FPS and overall performance. So let's just get started. Alright guys, so in the description of this video, I will provide all these folders and files in one archive file to download. And in the first, the very first task we have here is to go through the mouse folder and then go through the first one here, which says Mark C. You, you want to go there and you want to run either the CMD, this one or this one, whatever, whatever works, whatever works. So I'm just going to run the VPS one and click OK click mix this this essentially is a mark C script which is going to build a registry key that matches your settings and by the way do not change this value keep it on six because it's the normal cursor speed if you increase this value or decrease it your one one accuracy is going to be so awful we will talk about this more we'll talk about this more so here no acceleration which is a value of zero and this is the one-on-one -on -one I was talking about so it's essentially the uh, when you move your mouse to the top into into the bottom which is the Y which is the Y axis, and then we, we have the X axis, which mo which is essentially moving your mouse from the right to the left so this is the one-on-one -on -one accuracy you do not wanna uh, change the speed from six to something okay we're just gonna keep it six eleven all right so now we're gonna choose where we extract this registry file we're gonna extract it to the desktop and we're gonna press ok and we're gonna press yes and ok and then again yes okay perfect just keep ok and yes until it's it's done that's perfect so now the acceleration should be disabled now we want to double check these things have been applied. One, two great ways to, to do that is do control panel, search for control panel. Now we search for ease, oh, sorry, ease of access center. Perfect. Make sure these two uh, options are unchecked. Now scroll down to make the mouse easier to use. Click it, uncheck, turn on mouse keys, and then click the setup mouse keys. Now this has to be here. To like the lowest value this is meaning that you have no acceleration on your computer essentially you have a complete control over your mouse cursor which is exactly what most of the gamers want you, you want to take the full control and I do not recommend moving this so now if it's not changed slow it move it to slow and then hit apply we can go back and go to again again go to make the mouse easier and go to mouse settings all the way to the bottom and you want to go to pointer options make sure this one is unchecked so yeah it's all part of acceleration as well so you want to uncheck it too perfect once we've done with this one now you have raw input enabled in your computer in your windows essentially now moving on to the pulling rate of your mouse so if you have a gaming mouse or if you're not sure if you're if you have a gaming mouse there is one way to find out you can run this mouse movement recorder so for, for example if you see a thousand or 500 600 700 this means that your mouse is legitimately a gamer mouse that's how we know if it's a gamer mouse or not now coming to the point where we explain this uh, thousand hertz and what it's called so this is called the polling rate the polling rate is essentially how many times uh, the mouse reports its position to the system for example a regular mouse which is a dollar or two dollar mouse cannot exceed 124 Hertz pulling rate Hertz meaning it will report itself 124 times a second so this type of mice may not be very very handy and accurate in situations where you you are a beast 
at a game, for example, an RTS game or an FPS game where you do multiple actions and movements in clicks. In this situation, uh, your mouse position may not be reported ac accurately. So it's recommended that you guys get at least at least 500 polling rate on your mouse. It's very recommended to have 500 polling rate. And now let's talk about the downsides of having a higher polling rate. Well, a regular mouse will not consume so much CPU because it has a very low uh, polling rate and essentially your CPU won't exceed that, that much. But when we have a gaming mouse, and I will show you a little example here. We're gonna go to the performance section. So now I'm recording in using a lot. So let, let's, let's just wait for it to stabilize so I can start. Now I have my mouse set to 1000 polling rate. I will try to move my mouse around and do clicks so you can see where this goes. So now we are sitting at 16%, 17%. Now let's, let's do clicks and move. I'm gonna move, 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 and do clicks. Move, 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 move. Okay, so you see that it's exceeding, exceeding more. And trust me, this test I'm doing now is not as accurate as when you are playing a game. When you're playing an actual game and your APM is beyond 200. If your APM is beyond 200, this could go all the way to 30%. So essentially, it's like a 15% CPU usage by your mouse. Now the question comes here, do I really need a thousand polling rate? Well, to be honest, it might be useful. It might be useful in some games, for example, like first person shooters where you need whatever you can get from the response time. But honestly, the difference is barely, barely noticeable because we have the response time, which, which is two milliseconds in here one milliseconds so it's not really that big of a deal because if we convert the millisecond to the seconds it's 0 0.002 in here 0 0.001 so it's essentially like there's no difference pretty much and what i would recommend you guys to do is if you have a thousand polling rate it means that you have a gamer mouse so go to your gaming mouse panel and I have Razer mouse, so I go to the Razer Synapse. And then click here, click on your mouse and go to the performance. So you want to lower this to 500 for the sake of performance. So if your computer is like average computer, I, I highly recommend that you guys set it this way because I myself use it 500. I change it to 1000 just to show you. And one another important thing about gaming mice always always disable the lightings the lightings will consume so much power from your mouse and it's going to use power in cpu as well so you want to disable them and essentially do i use static here meaning no lights so these are the things that you should work on doing so i'm just gonna close uh, my razor panel here and that's it I, I hope i explained this section very, very well if you have more questions you, you can ask in the comments section of this video all right now we have one last thing which also helps with the response time it decreases the input lag so you want to always have this on your desktop and run it as admin before gaming and choose maximize and once you're done gaming you want to set it back to default so that's how you want to work with this uh, timer. So I'm just going to set it to default and close it for now. And now let's move on to section number two. All right, moving on to latency, which is one of the biggest components of this tutorial. You want to follow me up on this one, guys. Trust me. Go into the latency folder, install latency man. And once you install it, there is a green button. Just click it and wait for like 10, 30 or one minute until these bars stabilize so now so so now if you have once the these bars like stabilize if you have like the bar go all the way in the middle one of these bars go all the way in the middle it means that we need to, to, to do some tweaking some tweaking or some uninstalling so there is both possibility essentially when we're talking about nvidia drivers sometimes just tweaking will reduce for example disabling some audio devices from the device manager 
or disabling some stuff or installing some stuff from the audio section is going to help. Let me explain how we can go through that. So just search device manager and I will assume that some of you guys have red bars or like so much execution time here in latency. So if you have one of these issues, you just go to the device manager and disable Bluetooth, disable webcam and go to the monitors to the network adapter section and disable stuff that you don't use. For example, I use VMware, I disable it and only enable it when I use it. And I don't use the integrated Wi-Fi, I use only the external card Wi-Fi, which is this one right there. So I even disable the LAN card, guys. I even disable the LAN card. <laughs> I don't use it so if you use it don't don't do that okay just do what works here so once we disable these components we should notice a little bit of improvement if we don't notice anything yet let's go back in the device manager and show hidden devices so this is really really good what we want to do we want to go to the Bluetooth section and we can essentially just delete all of them safely delete all of them there there is nothing to worry about deleting these things will not affect anything with, with your bluetooth or because these devices were connected to your bluetooth like previously or in the past but now they are no longer so you want to like remove everything in here all right remove the bluetooth okay let's move everything it's, it's fine now you want to go to the my section and you want to do the same thing you you're going to remove everything in here yeah, why not? Like essentially just remove, remove. Anything that is in white, guys. Anything that is in white, not, not in black. Anything that is in white. So we want to clean this uh, devices like that. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to keep the monitor there because I could use it. Yeah, so go to the keyboard and do the same. I'm going to do it later. All right. So I don't uh, make this video longer. <laughs> you should see improvements. If you don't see improvements, which I doubt, by the way, 99% you, you will see improvements. But if you don't, there has to be something else. It could be an antivirus. It could be malware byte. It could be a lot of things. So how do we find out? So here, as you can see, I have zero point. So if you have zero point, there is nothing to touch. Do not even bother, okay? So if it's 0 0.2, it's fine, but 0 0.8, uh, it's, it's not fine. 0 0.8, 0 0.9, it's not fine. Or 1 point, 2 point, 3 point, etc. We need to tweak and we need to remove stuff. For example, look at my NVIDIA dri driver. It's only 0 0.200. It's, it's been a year. I do a clean install of NVIDIA drivers. And when I do that, I, I get the, the lowest execution time possible. And I recommend that, that you guys do the same. So I will talk about this in the next section. So in the next section, you can actually skip to the next section and see me installing NVIDIA clean NVIDIA driver. All right. And then continue with this with the section two here. All right. So if you have NVIDIA and you have problems with it with high execution, just follow what I was doing there. And by the way, did I just forget about audio? I was talking and talking and forgot about audio. What is audio? Oh, here. So go to the audio, by the way, in the show. Yeah, it's show. And in, install in everything in white and disable stuff that you don't use here. Just to, to disable them in audio. This is really big in the audio sec section. I totally forgot. I'm sorry. All right, so we're back here. So if you have an antivirus that is using one millisecond execution time or two millisecond execution time, guys, just in install it and find something else. Trust me, you have Av Avast, you have AVG, you have Avira. These antiviruses are ridiculously CPU hugs. I am telling you, it's like running a game in the background. It's no longer an antivirus. I don't recommend using antivirus like those. Probably Casper Sky Free is probably good. Or Komodo, Komodo Internet Security. These are really good and optimized antivirus. But other than that, I don't see anything. Myself, I don't use any antivirus because I'm a developer. I mean, if there is a virus, I would know. I don't need an antivirus to see it. <laughs> Coming back to the drivers section now. If you have the TCP IP and you have it at 8, for example, if you have it like 8 millisecond or 2 millisecond or 1 millisecond point, the way to fix it is go to device manager, just like I showed you. 
make sure that you, you have uninstalled stuff here and disabled stuff here because usually it's there the TCP IP is essentially the network here it's related to the network NVIDIA is essentially the audio what is the audio guys it's here it's the audio AMD or NVIDIA are audio Intel relates to audio as well all right so this is how you guys can, can tweak stuff and by the way sometimes if you don't know what what you're doing if you want to install something but you don't know if you should or should not just copy right click and copy for for example this uh, stuff and go here go all the way back here and do copy and paste and the first result and here you will get a grasp of what this file is or what this driver is so essentially I like to scroll down and see the user comments user comments essentially like with the, for, for for example this guy and this this guy like they, they can tell you if you can remove it or disable it or not so yeah take a decision keep it or not it's it's not going to affect your computer because look at here it's not essential for Windows us so it's safe it's safe you can remove remove it so here you, you can take decisions whether whether you remove or not re remove all right guys so I think that's it for this part now all right the next section is GPU slash monitors we are going to talk about how to install a clean driver for your graphics card and how to set up your monitors how to check if your monitors are using which graphic card etc etc so for now let's just uh, go into the folder GPU and you will find two files here it's the high performance plan we need to activate that just by double click in this file so for instance if I was to have balanced mode and I click it it will automatically switch it to high performance so that's what it does now the, moving on to the second part which is the NVIDIA clean installer this is like one of the best the greatest third-party uh, software you could ever find it's going to install only and just the NVIDIA driver, nothing else. And just give it a few seconds to load your, your graphic card settings, download link, etc. Alright, it's ready. Now click next. And guys, take a look. Now that's the amount of bloodware you guys install when you download NVIDIA straight up from the NVIDIA website and install it without customization, consuming your uh, computer resources. So for now, we're just are not going to check anything in this list. Just skip, press, and leave it to copy and do whatever it, it does, okay? We'll be back in a few seconds. Alright, so we're back again and it's done. I think as soon as you see installation tweaks, it means that you are ready to customize the installation. So it's important to disable the installer telemetry and unintended express installation, allow as well here. And the biggest one is the perform a clean installation. You must do this one. You cannot ignore it and then you go to show and disable both of these options that's pretty much it now just click next and it's going to install it's going to install everything and uh, you'll probably have to reboot your computer reboot and come back guys to finish this section right click on the desktop and click nvidia control panel now i need you to go to set physics configuration and we need to talk about some stuff in here so as you can see here I have my monitor which is a VG248 connected to what to an HDMI port within my Nvidia card so if you see such thing like your monitor is connected to Nvidia that's good that's perfect however if you see it connected to Intel that's actually bad because your monitor uh, is going to perform lower in gaming so you want to make sure that your monitor is connected and the thing is there is one way to fix it and that by using another port in your laptop 
or another port in your desktop for for example if you have a laptop some sometimes you don't have double hdmi or double display ports so the way it works you need to find the mini display ports in your computer in your laptop and go buy go to the shop and buy a mini port to DVI or a mini port a mini port to hdmi and plug it into your your uh, the, the port in, in the mini port and then into your laptop in this way your laptop will be connected straight up to nvidia this is for laptops for desktops usually they have double double ports like double hdmi or double dvi so just make sure to switch the the cable the hdmi cable to another port and it should work so this is just a little tip and when by the way when your monitor is plugged into is connected to uh, another graphic card that there is not nvidia you you will have to uh, configure the refresh rate from there and how to, to do that right click and go to the properties if, for example if i want to change the resolution of my other screen i will have to go to to nvidia to uh, intel sorry and go to probably display and yeah and fix it here so i have double this displays here and as you can see it's not even showing up on nvidia because it's a laptop but if i have double monitors it should show up here but connected to intel so this is just a little tip here you can adjust your refresh rate because sometimes sometimes when you have double uh, monitors your refresh rate is 50 hertz by default and you can't and there is no way to modify it here you will have to, to modify it in the other graphic cards so remember this one okay so now we're back to uh, nvidia panel and let's go to the manage 3d settings and by, by the way here you can uh, set your uh, physics processor under nvidia or set, set it to auto select like it's not uh, it's not gonna be a big of a deal all right here i like to set my preferred graphics to nvidia and actually let's go back to the global settings because there is only one setting that you need to change or two actually or two see the power management mode we need to make this on maximum performance like this is prefer maximum performance as well as texture filtering high performance instead okay so so that's these are the two things you need to do and go to the program settings and make sure your game is actually using nvidia if it's a 3d game or if it's a modern game just make sure it's using nvidia by selecting uh, the processor high performance nvidia processor and of course um, so i always always use enable vertical sync so it limits the frame rate so this is a recommendation I know I can play over 60 FPS, but on my medium average computer, I like to also browse internet at the same time, etc. etc. So I always use vertical sync. This is my excuse, guys. This is my excuse. So I think that's uh, pretty much it in the NVIDIA panel. Actually, actually, we can go one more. We can go one, one more. Let's, I don't remember what exactly. Well, oh, here. You, you want to go here and set. Uh, onto full screen because sometimes you, you get black bars if you choose to reduce your resolution so this is a thing that I would advise you to do later after the tutorial is done I advise you to reduce your resolution so now if I change my resolution to a lower one it's not going to show black bars this is the, the reason for I have it on full screen so I hope this I hope this explains everything all right guys the last section of this tutorial is going to be the cpu slash memory or ram so if you jump into this folder that there are several files in here just start with this uh, whoop folder which is a windows update blocker so essentially here you want to disable windows update but after a month or two weeks just enable it back and check the windows updates if there are updates update and then disable windows update again you don't want to keep windows update in the background and you know why i'm not i, I do not have to explain myself guys <laughs> okay so now the next step we have here is disabling the game dvr one of the most annoying fps consuming it is a very annoying 
feature that Windows has ever made. So straight up that there are two registry parts in this one. We will remove the abilities that the game DVR has first, right? By clicking here and applying this uh, first registry. Okay, so I just did that. And the second registry will disable the game DVR from running. However, however, the game DVR or the game or the game bar might still be running in the background. Let's check. It's it's not here, but. I think we, we are going to go to the Windows system to find out. We are going to go to the Windows system, game bar. Usually this one will, will run when you run a game. So if you run a game, you should see this, uh, this process in here. So now what we're going to do, we are going to rename it. And of course we cannot rename it unless we change the, the security se settings of this uh, file. So just right click it, properties go to the security, go to edits, I think, uh, actually advanced, advanced, and here on the top change the owner. It should be set to trusted installer, should, should be set to trusted, but, but now you're gonna set your uh, username. For example, how do you know your username? It's easy, just do, just do like app data and do this. And that, that's it, this is your username, this is PC, this is your username. So I'm just gonna head back right there and just go back here. So I'm just gonna type here PC, click check, it's gonna, it's gonna say okay. Now be, before we click apply and okay, we need to go in here to the, the administrator and these two, these two things. So I'm just gonna go here and click edit and set to full control and press okay. The same thing I'm gonna do here, full control because okay and we can do the full control on, on this one but it's not necessary now we can just click apply yes okay and that's that now we can re rename this file now we have the ability to rename this file be before we can't we literally can't okay perfect now we have completely and absolutely disabled the game bar from your system. I hope this is good news guys. <laughs> Alright now moving on to the third part and guys when it comes to antiviruses I think that Windows Defender made it clear to everyone that it's that it is one of the most aggressive antiviruses. It has tampering, it has anti-malware firing so running this antivirus in your computer will definitely and surely slow down your, your gaming performance. Slow down your computer performance and gaming performance. Just run this app here guys. Just run it and disable it. Disable it completely. And of course if you're a basic user that that is afraid of viruses you can still install Kaspersky free which is so much better than this uh, antivirus Windows Defender okay or you can also install Komodo Internet Security so install whatever antivirus that is light avoid AVG and Avast and Avira these antiviruses they are just like Windows Defender trust me just if, if you have them just install them and install better ones I told you Kaspersky Free or Komodo Internet Security Alright, now moving on to the first part of uh, this section, which is removing all Xbox apps. So what we're going to do now is remove all the Xbox apps only, and read please this one, read this sentence, only if you don't play any multiplayer game in Microsoft Store. So essentially if you don't play anything on Microsoft Store, game-wise, we can, we can install all the Xbox apps with no problems however if you play there don't do this okay so I just warned you here so you can just go to PowerShell like this and uh, run choose to run as administrator and just paste uh, this uh, command here I've already rem removed everything of course we don't have to even try <laughs> all right so now the next um, the next step in this section 
is the Razer Cortex. Razer Cortex, guys, is one of the best game boosters out there. I have tried all the game boosters and this one comes to the top notch performance. So now what we can what we can do once you install it, you will go you, you will go to your tray and right click Razer Cortex. Right there. Here you should list all your games which which, which are installed and go to uh, the system booster first always. And do the scan here in clean. So this is this one will clean the thumb files, will do all the cleaning the C cleaner do. So if you have C cleaner, just remove it and use a Cortex instead. Because Cortex will do a better job. Even defragging games if you have HD drive. So it's perfect software. So now go to after you do the scan in the cleanup, you can just go to the game booster section and go to boost. Uh, actually FPS first uncheck everything in here all right and then go to boost and here guys you wanna check all the stuff you can like I would just check the Explorer because it's fine it's fine for me I could just check this one too yeah let's just check it I go to the processes and I can and check everything I want in here but there, there is no problem except the SV hosts like the SV hosts just avoid them just avoid the SV hosts because they can interrupt your internet connection so these are the only ones not to check and also on the services tab you can check as much services as you can from here to make sure that your game are running perfectly and there's also the non windows services which i recommend to check all of them the last tip but probably very important one is to periodically undust your computer especially the cpu so when the cpu has dust in it it will warm up or it will freeze some sometimes so you want to periodically from six months or from a year to another just take it to the store and clean it so that's uh, what I do and that's what I advise you guys do and yeah that's pretty much it I hope this tutorial was useful if you have more requests if you have any problems just please comment in the in the comment section below and I will respond to you guys thank you for watching